Hi, this scratch video tutorial will look at the if on edge bounce block. As you can see, I've opened up my tip section and clicked on the uh, block if on edge bounce. So basically what happens with this block is that if when you are creating a game or a story and your sprite seems to be walking across the screen, it sort of bumps on the edge. Um, but then it kind of doesn't sort of bounce back up again. So what this block allows you to do is that if it's touching the edge of the stage, then basically bounce it away. So let's just have a look at some of the ways that we could use this block. So if I grab the move 10 steps block and um, click onto that, and I'll click onto it until my cat sprite touches the edge of the screen and we'll see what happens. It kind of doesn't do anything. It keeps on moving 10 steps because that's basically what this uh, block is designed to do is just to move 10 steps. So let me open up my screen a little bit further. But if I wanted my cat to uh, actually reach, when it reaches the edge of the screen, um, for it to bounce back and start walking back again. So in that instance, I would go into my motion scripts tab, scroll down a little bit, click onto this, and uh, let's snap these two together and let's see what happens when I test and click onto this and I'll click onto it several times so that it reaches the edge of the screen and hopefully it will do there you go. So it kind of bounces back, but you can see that the rotation style is um, upside down. So to fix that problem, we can go back to our little icon, rotate its uh, direction back to its normal position, and we can then adopt this set rotation style left to right and let's see what happens when I click this script to test out its actions. So there you go. So it shows that um, I'm asking the cat to move 10 steps. However, if on the edge, kind of bounce away from the edge, and then once I've applied the set rotation style left to right, it kind of bounces away, away from the edge of the screen, rotates itself around, and then starts walking um, in the right direction again. So let's just move him all the way across, and then let's just click onto this and show you what happens. There you go. And that's how you can use the if on edge bounce block.